Chipmaker NVIDIA's third quarter results out last night. They did beat expectations on both the top and the bottom lines. Revenue was up by 206 percent year over year during the quarter as the company continues to ride that AI boom. But NVIDIA's CFO warning that China sales will drop significantly in the fourth quarter. For more on the U.S.-China chip war, we want to bring in Chris Miller. He's a professor at Tufts Fletcher School. He's also the author of Chip War, the fight for the world's most critical technology. And Chris, this is incredibly important. Um, what we've heard from NVIDIA is that this will cut into their growth. But how big is this war and are there any signs of it thawing? Well, I think the Biden Xi meeting earlier this week suggests that uh, there's going to be a pause in some of the tension between the U.S. and China, but the problems aren't going to go away for U.S. chip makers because both the president and Congress have signaled they're going to keep pretty tight restrictions on the ability of companies like NVIDIA to export AI chips to China. It's not going to go away soon. And regardless of who wins the 2024 election in the U.S., these restrictions are going to stay in place. And so for companies that depend on selling to China, they've got to find new strategies to access the Chinese market. As somebody who has spent so much time researching this, do you think it's the right call for, for the U.S. government to place these restrictions on the chips? Well, I think there's a belief in the U.S. government that AI is a critical technology and that accessing these types of chips are critical to training AI systems. And right now, that's absolutely true. NVIDIA has just cornered the market uh, for the chips, without which you really can't train a cutting-edge AI system. The, the question is, how long will it take China to produce equivalent chips? And we're going to see China probably next year announce that it's, uh, it's producing its own chips. Huawei, for example, has its own AI chip line that's going to start scaling up. And it's not yet clear how good they are. We're going to have to wait and find out. I think Chinese companies like Baidu, Tencent, Alibaba, which today are big customers of NVIDIA's chips, are going to realize that they would like to find alternative suppliers in China, but that the difficulty of switching is real. It's not just about getting other chips. It's about switching your entire software ecosystem to work with these new chips. And that provides NVIDIA a, but a fair amount of stickiness in its revenue because Chinese firms can't easily switch to other suppliers. Do you see this as an arms race between China and the United States just in terms of trying to get um, to be the best in AI, the fastest? Well, I think that's absolutely right. It's, it's an arms race between companies, but also between countries. And if you talk to militaries in not only the U.S. and China, but elsewhere, they see AI as a technology that's useful for chat GPT and optimizing food delivery apps, but also useful for a whole array of defense and intelligence applications. And that's precisely the reason that the U.S. is trying to tighten up control over these types of chips. We were talking earlier this morning and kind of comparing it to the Manhattan Project, just AI in general and, and how you get to that point. It's weird because the Manhattan Project did not have commercial interests involved. This does. This, at least in the United States, is kind of being run by commercial properties, by, by companies that are pouring the billions of dollars into this. Got any concerns about that? You think that's the right way to do it? Well, I think that's, that's the dilemma, is that the exact same types of chips, the GPUs that NVIDIA or AMD produce, they can be used for civilian applications, and they generally are, but they can also be used for military applications. And that's why there's no real way to differentiate and say, this chip can go, this chip can't go, because you can use them for both purposes. But I think you're, you're right that it's a, we're in uncharted territory here, because in the past, government said we're going to control defense technology, but let civilian technology be sold. And right now, when it comes to AI chips, there's just no way of differentiating.